when you're in a real fight situation, okay, you don't know if you're attacking or defending, so you can't actually commit yourself to a front stance. When you're fighting, you're going to adopt either a right neutral or left neutral stance. And the idea is that when your opponent is outside of kicking distance, you must stand in a neutral stance. If he's inside, well, then you're going to move in and kick him to get into a front stance, okay? The front stance is your attacking stance, okay? Neutral is you don't know if you're attacking or defending, all right? In a right neutral, the right leg is going to actually do the kick for you. And then because we kick, it's a kick is purely a way of bridging the gap and getting us in there safely to use our fists. So as we land, as we actually hit the ground, we're going to then land our strikes. If I was going to hit, hit someone from here, okay? And I, and I aim for a point beyond to actually get the energy to go, and my fist does 100 mile an hour and it locks out. I'm going to hit the opponent at about 25 mile an hour, all right? The fist's going to slow down, I'm going to push him back as I use the muscles, okay? If I hit him here just before I lock out, I can hit him about 95 mile an hour. I can then accelerate up to, up, up to 100 inside the opponent. That's a hit, all right? So therefore, if you've been in a fight and you've hit someone and you thought that's been rather weak, it's probably because you was too close, or one of the reasons. But if the force is, when you're in a fight situation, the force is on you, the, the retreat and moving backwards with footwork is one of the most important parts, okay? That means you've got to, the body's got to be totally relaxed, all right? No tension in the body. And then just moving away from the opponent, so I'm dissolving his force, but sidestepping him as well because his force is coming in here. But my, me being here, I'm out of line of his force. That means I can move totally out of the way and counterattack and move in, okay? So if he was coming into me, or I was just standing in the I can't put this position to stop him actually kicking me. That gets me in there safely, where I can actually start working him over. And it's purely about bridging the gap. See, people think they can just step in and hit you, but well, it doesn't, because if he steps in to hit me, I'm going to actually kick him before the, before the strike comes through. If it was that he was coming in too much, that's when we'd use the twist punch, which we actually done earlier. The twist punch on its own could hit, could, hit, could miss, miss the target altogether. So then, obviously, you have to learn then to be able to flow around your opponent to be able to control him and move him whichever position you want. Follow the link in the description box to the British Wing Chun Kung Fu Association, where this video is streaming now.